Hey, how's everyone doing? I don't know why, you know, every time I do a video, my lighting goes darker so you can probably barely see me. I really don't like that, to be honest with you. I'm already dark enough. I like for people to see me, but hey, I don't want to waste any time. So I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm just doing some writing and uh, something came to mind. You know, I get these random sparks, you know of wisdom and or whatever you want to call it i named this video uh so-called black people putting their differences aside or something on that level so basically what i mean by that is uh this is not to hate anybody or i'm not spewing out hate i'm actually spewing out self-love you know people just feel threatened by it when certain people love themselves so and basically what I mean by uh, so-called black people setting the differences aside is that that's something that we lack putting aside our differences and when I was writing and I was writing a song just now I, that's nothing that just came to me and I was like I'm just gonna do a YouTube video but um, basically what I'm saying is We don't know how to set aside our differences. If you realize, a lot of uh, other cultures, a lot of, uh, and I'm going to speak white just because it's, it's a big black and white thing going on right now. I have white friends, you know, so and we, I got to talk the same talk with them. But, however, I'm a part of a culture that lacks culture, so. But anyway, what I'm saying is, we don't know how to set aside our differences, so other cultures could do it. So saying, if I notice other cultures, if they have a, an agenda or a goal, they know how to stick to that. You get what I'm saying? So you have a lot of European nations and European people. You can have a white, a white American, Caucasian person, Caucasian person, and you can have an Italian person, an Irish person. Or not even different uh, nationalities. They're just all, you know, you can have just straight at, um, white Americans. They could not like each other, hate each other's guts, not speak to one another. However, when they have, you know, when there's a goal that needs to be pursued, they will get it accomplished. Because they know how to set that difference aside for the moment and handle that business. Especially if it has to go, you know, goes against you, goes against people like me, you know. Okay, because yeah, they'll be like, okay, well, I'd rather help this person I don't like than help that person over there. Because at the end of the day, they have a common enemy. Not, and not even just about their enemy, it's just, even if it's corporate, you know, money, you just making money, hey, they know how to set things aside. They know how to be grown and do what they gotta do. Us, on the other hand, Oh, I ain't fuck with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't fuck. Man, I would do it, but I don't really fuck. You know what I mean? That's how we get. And you know what made me think about it? Think about this? It's off subject, but I was looking at all the the whole pro-black uh, movements. So you have the Hotep people. You have the Egypt, you know, Egyptologists and the uh, Egypt people. You have the Hebrew Israelites. Uh, who else is out there? Uh, Pan-Africanism, you know, the uh, Muslims. You know, um, who else? All those people out there. So many, so many. And none of them are going nowhere. For one, they only speak about the problem. They never have a solution. Uh, so. But it made me think like they all. And it has to be a time to where they can be like, okay. Because you know, each one teaches one. Because I know I had a few friends. I got friends who's into the Egyptian thing. I have many, many Hebrew Israelite friends. I won't say friends. It's just people that I know, you know. Because wherever there's people, there's going to be problems. I know a lot of shady people in all all genres. But they don't know how to put their difference aside. See, at the end of the day, it should be, they speak about the upliftment of black people, so-called black people. Because I don't really like, I don't really like that. Because that's not a culture. It's just a color. A color is not a culture. A color is not a nationality. It's not a nation. So, anyway. 
they don't know how to put the difference. So it should be they, they speak on being uh uplifting our people. And yet if you bring say you have a Muslim when I say Muslim, I was, I'm going to speak on the nation of Islam in particular. And say you have a Hebrew Israelite. There's a goal that needs to be accomplished. And if they came together, they could handle it. However, the Muslim would be like, I ain't messing with that Hebrew Israelite dude. They weird, they crazy, they loud, and they do this, they do that. And then on the reverse, the Hebrew Israelite is like, he's a false teacher. He's following the a He's this, so I'm not working with him, you know. Instead of just coming, because you never know. You know, y'all can exchange words, wisdom, knowledge, whatever. It's about the common goal. You get what I'm saying? You have to work on the common goal. You can have the Christian. You can have a Muslim. I don't know why I keep bringing up Muslims, but no, better yet, you can have a Christian, a black Christian. You can have a black Hebrew Israelite. Same thing. Even though they're really speaking the same stuff because they use the same book, the Bible. And I do believe we are, you know, chosen people. You know, I do believe that. You know, it's, it makes a lot of sense, so don't get me wrong. However, I'm not going to say, sit here and say, like, they are 100% correct. You know, because I don't agree with everything. Like, the chart and all that, but that's off subject. But basically, what I'm saying is, uh, the black Christian... And you can have a black Christian and a white Christian. The white Christian knows what's going on. He could be a good hearted and everything, but guess what? He's not going to get involved because he already knows he's going to be protected. For one, he's protected because he's not going to deal with, he's not going to get in it. Then two, that black Christian is going to protect him. You know, oh, Jesus. And then, oh, you know what I mean? Basically, you know, and going against, you know, you know, start turning to a house, nigga. I just hate to say it, but that's, that's, that's how it is. But, um, but yeah, put your differences aside. For, even for my, we, hey, if there's a goal that needs to be accomplished, and it's something that's hard, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody thinks like us. Not everybody thinks like me. I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, particular about this. Put your differences aside. And I say that because we, we can have a disagreement. Hey, this, this is our role. This is this what I think. If I don't like you, because we're going to have people we're not going to like, we're going to have people we, who don't like us. That doesn't make you a hater. You just don't sit well with other people. Not everybody's, you know, energy or whatever aligns with one another. But, hey, if we're on the same side at the same time and we have a goal that has to be accomplished, I know how to put the differences inside, even if I don't have to talk to you later on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, okay, let's handle this, handle business, and we can go back to beefing after that. Okay, let's put our guns away for now. Let's handle this, okay, and then we can shoot it out later. You know what I'm saying? But we got to handle this. You know what I'm saying? You know, divide and conquer. We're divided and we're conquered. And it's starting to turn into a class thing now. So even if, a lot of people disagree with me here, even if, uh, You know, when, it's when, it, when it comes to classism, okay, because it's going to be a, about people with the money and the people with, with no money. That's as simple as that. So basically, you're going to have black people, white people, Hispanic, whatever, all nationalities who got money and on the reverse note, all nationalities, black, white, whatever, with no money. So even then, when that comes... Things are going to have to be, you know what I mean? I learned that from the, the California prison system, how you have all these uh, inmates politicking, you know, against one another off a of race. But they're all inmates. You get what I'm saying? Have a common goal, you know. You know how do you stand, the body you fall. Hey, okay, I don't like your side, you don't like my side. However, we both, we are both. Being oppressed by somebody, they kind of, they taking all of us out. So let's come together real quick, handle this, like the, you know what I mean, get rid of the problem, and we could duke it out later. You know what I mean? Love conquers all, though. I mean, you go around loving everybody.
like I said, but such a difference is inside. Just for like, even this for five minutes. You know what I mean? I seen people who do charity events and feed the hungry and go visit kids in hospitals, but it's some effect they don't deal with this other person. They're not gonna help this child because they don't like this person. So they gonna go and try to visit a child in the hospital and see somebody talking to them. the person that's talking to the child and you know, making the child feel good, they don't deal with saying that can go in there and share their blessing. You know, we petty, we we really we we really and I'm speaking to black people, man, we're a childish race. Very childish. Very petty. That's why they call us boys and girls and you know what I mean? And we okay with that. <laughs> That's the fucked up part about it. We we good with that. Yeah, I'm running out of time, you guys. Um, I'm trying to find my niche on this YouTube thing. I'll be making. I think I'm gonna be all around the border as far as this uh making videos. I just deleted all the videos I had before because I don't know they didn't have no substance to them. So uh, like, subscribe, and encourage me to make more. Uh, in the comment section, just give me something. If you guys want me to talk about something, give me a subject to speak on, and I won't mind doing it. I'll shout you out, and you know. All right, guys, so have a good one. Set your differences aside. If you got a common goal, call that person, be the bigger man. If, even if they don't uh, accept your call and be like, oh, no, nah, I ain't fucking with you, use that bigger man or woman to put that there and say, hey, look, you know. We got to handle this business, you know what I'm saying? We can not talk later, but let's handle this. If they don't want to do it, fuck them, you know what I'm saying? That's why you're not fucking with them in the first place, <laughs> okay? I have a good one, I have a blessed one. Um, I don't celebrate this New Year stuff. Uh, midnight just hit, but I don't mind into the holidays, but you know. You no know, comment, like, share, whatever, and... Give me some feedback and give me some uh, give me some ideas. I'll speak on anything. I have a lot in my mind. I'm a loner. You know, I buy myself a lot. So I have a lot to talk about, but I don't have nobody to talk to with. So talk to you guys. All right. Be safe.